Hi everybody, I am Said and you are watching the Key Channel. Are you a multitasker? Multitaskers do a lot of things at the same time. They simultaneously work with their computer, talk to their phone, drink coffee, and even at the same time send text messages. This is quite strange. Based on scientific evidences, human brain is not evolved to do multitasking. What we do really is to switch from one work to another, one task to another task. We are not doing all of these things at the same time. And the process of switching between those tasks needs a lot of energy. And because of this, after doing multitasking, we feel to be extremely exhausted. Based on these evidences, everybody tries to get rid of this kind of working. For example, a few years ago, Apple changed even the name of multitasking feature to another thing, App Switcher. Nobody wants it's a scandal. Congratulations if you are not a multitasker. But the problem is that all of us become multitaskers when we are working with our computer. We open a lot of different apps, we think about a lot of different ideas, and we really do all of them at the same time. As I mentioned, you are really switching from one work to another. To prevent it, I want to describe something very specific for you. A feature in Windows, Task View, it prevents you from doing multitasking. The idea is that it provides you with several different desktops, each project in one of them, with its apps. So, when you are working, for example, on a second project, you don't see the others anymore. So you cannot do that multitasking process again. There is also another great thing in this feature. I will describe all of them for you. Here is a task view icon. If you don't see it right here, just right click on the taskbar and then choose show task view button. You may want to, for example, do some works on two completely separated projects. One of them, for example, related to doing some research on exoplanets on Wikipedia. Here is an article about the exoplanets on Wikipedia. You may want to copy and paste some parts of it into your file, into your Word file. Here is the Microsoft Word and a new project. You may have another thing to do today which is another completely different project that is related to doing some accounting. For that, you need Microsoft Excel and also a calculator. The problem is that if you open them right here, it means that you are doing works on two completely different projects. You are doing multitasking. We want to prevent it. Instead, click on task view. You see some other desktops. You can add another one. This is the desktop number two. Desktop number one is a place that you are working in it all the times. Instead, click on desktop number two, which is completely a different uh, place to work on. It seems that your computer is turned on uh, right now. Nothing is open inside it. And now you can open those apps that you want. Excel, new file, and also the calculator. Here it is. So, when you are working on a second project, which is related to accounting, you don't see your first project. It means that you are not able to do multitasking. If you want to see the first project, again click on task view, and then when you move toward desktop number one, you will see the apps related to it. You can click on, for example, Word, and then you directly go toward it. Again, you can come to the task view and then move toward the desktop number two. And then, for example, click on book number one, Excel. This way, you are unable to do multitasking. As I mentioned, it is also possible to work on another project. Desktop number three. If you want, you can add more desktops. And you can see something very interesting in here, a great feature, a kind of timeline. 
These are all of my activities during these days. For example, on September 7th, I've been working on these six files. I can see all nine activities of mine on that specific day. You may find several great applications for such a great feature. For example, I can click on this one to go directly toward it. On September 10th, I have been working on this file. And also another application that I can show you is that I am watching a Korean TV series called Yeeson. This one episode number 46 yesterday. So tonight I'm going to watch the next one, episode number 47. You may find several great applications for yourself using this great timeline. Thanks for watching this video, hope you enjoyed and I hope that it prevents you from doing multitasking.